So my name is Mirito Tripathi. I represent France and the voices of nuclear there. And I wanted to say that the EU, which is an organization for peace and prosperity, was built on that very strong bond there is between France and Germany. I learned German well before I learned English at school. I did cultural and students pupil exchanges with the German children. I actually fell in love for the first time with a German guy, Toby out there, if you hear me today. <laughs> and when uh, there was the fall of the Berlin Wall, my parents put all the children in the car and said, let's go and cross half of Europe to go celebrate with them. That's how important the link between France and Germany is. And today, as a new crisis fall before us, Germany and France are taking different paths, different energy paths, as you know. Well, the promises we made to one another are still valid, though. The promises the governments made to one another, but also the promises the people made to one another. We promised that we would stand together for better health, for safety, and for a nice future for our children. And today, the continued operations of coal and gas power plants and the building of new infrastructures of fossils are threatening all those. The air pollution is increasing, the greenhouse gases emissions are increasing, and the, um, rely, uh, the resilience of the grid and our sovereignty towards foreign powers are very much at stake and threatened. We understand, as French, we understand your choice. We even understand your fear, but we not, don't share them. We don't share them because we decided we were going to trust the practical experience of more than 40 years of nuclear power on our land, of our daily lives being powered with 75% nuclear power, and we decided we were going to trust science. And as a result, we ask you, do not, please do not let your fear take over our lives. So maybe you know that uh, France, this week actually, has announced that it was going to build many large nuclear power plants. And small modern ones too. And third generation nuclear power plants and fourth generation nuclear power plants for the future, while it houses also the ITER fusion project. Those, those are all excellent news. We do that for our air quality, but also for that of us all. We do that for combating climate change for ourselves, but also for you all. And we do that for the sovereignty and the resilience of the European Union for ourselves, but also for you all. But what you need to know is that that is pretty recent. Because if France has enjoyed a lot and a large uh, share of nuclear in its power grid, it has put it in danger as well. Last year only, we shut down uh, two units of the Fessenheim nuclear power plant. It was 5,000 jobs but it was 10 million tons of CO2 back in the atmosphere. And this closure was presented by our president, who was a pro-nuclear president, as you may know, as a token of friendship between France and Germany. How can friendship cost that much? That's, that's my question. So Fessenheim has been closed, the people there have not recovered, and coal power plants have been opened in Germany, and a, fr and a gas power plant is being opened in France to compensate for that closure. Katnum is another power plant, is being threatened by Luxembourg very, very hardly in tribunals, while Luxembourg is actually enjoying 85% of the production of that plant. Budget, a little southern, is being threatened by the Swiss 
that actually finance the anti-nuclear groups on our soil. So again, I'm saying, do not let your fear trample our lives. Let our toys being carried upon, especially when it's based on science and sound science and has made its own demonstration. I will leave you on this note and I will remind you that the decision that has just been taken by the French government to rebuild its nuclear fleet it's important because it's for 2050 but also beyond it's important because thanks to the french nuclear fleet the european central grid is less carbonated by 30 percent and because it's stabilizing the grid and it's important because it's supported by the population it's encouraged by the population and it's something really recent because up to this day 75 percent of the 18 to 35 years old french people think nuclear power is a heavy contributor to climate change. Education is everything and we are here to pursue this. Thank you. Thank you, Mirto. Crazy stories you are telling us here.